Okay, after a long while of figuring out what I was going to do for this tutorial, I think I figured out that I'm going to do explosions. Okay, and on our last tutorial, it took 30 minutes. We have to go a little bit lower because I want to try to get under 10 minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and start opening Blender. Um, we're just going to start with the cube, and we're going to hit X to delete, Shift A, add UV sphere okay and we're gonna hit tab and then on a numpad hit one zoom up a little bit with your scroll bar A to deselect B to select um, we actually want more than that and when you go down here to where it has a square and a square in the background we need to click on it to make it so that we can select more than just the front okay so now we're gonna hit X to delete Okay, and that's okay. We want it to be, we want it to delete more than half of it. Okay, because we want the explosion to go up, not sideways. We just want it to go almost straight up. Okay, now what we need to do is over in our control panel thing, we need to hit the particles. Click new, and we need to, uh, <coughs> put this randomness to the complete one. Um, we're gonna start it at two and end at two because we want all the explosion all at once. We don't want it to keep on shooting particles over time. And we're gonna t put the lifetime to 30. Um, we are also going to change the normal to probably five so that it gets a big boom at the beginning. And we're gonna size up the randomness to probably eight let's put it at eight okay and we're also going to change this brownian right here underneath the forces and the fi the physics forces and then the brownian I'm gonna put it to uh, let's see just point five and that just gives it a little bit of a shaky effect. You don't have to put that one in, but it makes it look a little bit better. Um, we're actually going to keep it on Halo for right now so that we can see it. And then later we're going to change it to none. We're going to put field weights, and we're just going to put this to 0.5. Okay, because we, in an explosion, you do over time, they start to fall. So if we hit Shift A, oh. When you go to object mode and hit Shift A, now you'll see all this explosion stuff going on. This uh, particles, but going on, um, like that. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, another thing we probably want to do it, or what we need, what we need to do now is go right here to the wrench and click Add Modifier, and then Explode. We're gonna click dead, and it's okay if half of it's there and half of it. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the particles, and now we're gonna hit none. Okay, and we're gonna go back to the modifier pa t panel, and if we hit it, you start to see they explode. Okay, and yep, that's pretty much what we want. Uh, if we go to edit mode, let's just select all the vertices with A if they're not selected. Hit W, subdivide, and now watch what happens. When you go back to object mode, press Alt, A, you have more of an explosion. It just looks a little bit cooler. Okay, um, if you're planning on actually animating the thing, make sure that you go past where it starts and go back or else half of it will be already gone okay but let's make some color to it let's just give it a uh, reddish and that'll look good let's turn down the intensity um yeah about there the hardness I want about I'm gonna put 30 because it changed just a little bit. Uh, shadeless will make it all the same. That ruins the specularity. So um, you can make it look like 
glass if you wanted to like right here under transparency you can turn the alpha wherever you want but I'm gonna leave that so that you can see it easier the mirror you can, you can make it look like it's reflecting Let's see if you click there you can but on the mirror you can put the reflectivity the all that on it but okay so if we hit shift or alt a you can see that it explodes um, I think that's pretty much it um, just remember when you actually animate it that you know where it's sending it to it's gonna send it to the TMP you can change that by clicking right here um, your resolution you can change it to probably uh, 80 is what I would do and let's just go like this real quick see how it looks when we actually animate it you can see it looks pretty good okay this is my second tutorial coming to an end that was my final solution that after I did a few things to it like change the background but see you next time